Field Marshal Mudoni Wakirima is? Ours. Ours. She made me giggle at the sugar, sugar cane. cane. Uh -huh. Chewed only on the left side of her mouth. At the irrepressible joy. Mm -hmm. At the memory of a girl myself. It was home. Hers. Her movement in the space was very deliberate, but also very free. I looked at her like she was my Shosho. Mm -hmm. I almost couldn't. That's that. some of the cast of Too Early for Birds, the brazen edition, who, through some of those words, took their audience through a journey in time, introducing them to women who we never heard of in our history books or who never stood tall as monuments. You're about to see how they took an idea and turned it into a stage masterpiece in just nine months. First, we meet Wanjiku Mwauganga, the woman who coordinated the 20-plus cast and crew of women who brought this project to life. As, uh, when Alea and uh, Laura and Mora approached me, they were very clear. They want a woman to direct the show. And from whispers here and there, I was actually, people were like, but it doesn't matter. But it really does. It really does. Because when I can't tell your story, and the stories of your struggles if I haven't gone through them. And I wanted the art director to have that aspect, uh, to understand the stories on a deeper level, not just as a story, but as the struggle that we go through. And as women who have been erased, we, we have one paragraph in our history books about Mekati Lili. That's not fair. We know nothing about Zarina Patel. We know nothing about Chelegat. All women whose stories were weaved into a seamless script crafted by Alea Kassam, Anne Mora, and Laura Ekumbo. To write a script alone is lonely. It's lonely and it's tough and it's scary. Um, and knowing that I had these two women with me, these two spectacular writers with me, um, to research and learn about these women's stories and then to, to retell their stories in the way that we know we want to tell them, to fulfill the vision that we want to fulfill of uninvisibly invisible women. It was a spectacular experience. The play followed six fictitious characters set in the present day who narrated the stories of forgotten heroines in Kenya's history. So the character that I play, um, her name is Nakagwa. She's a 24-year-old Twitterati um, and she's pregnant. She's, she's pregnant and baby daddy skipped out. And she's found herself in a position where she she's not living the type of life that she wanted to live. And she feels like this child is going to interrupt her life and struggling with loving the child and, and still loving herself and, and fulfilling her own dreams. She connects to Chelagat Mutai the most, who, when she was 24, she was the first female Nandi MP. The team took the aspect of women telling the stories in a literal sense. A lot of the men I was playing were very direct antagonists to the women in our history. So you have Arthur Champion, a British administrator whom Mekatilili slapped. Um, or you have um, Braille and Roba, who were fictional characters, but they were representing the patriarchy and the patriarchal systems that were oppressing Chalaga during her time. So as a performer, the difficult thing was not engaging with them as a feminist or a theorist, as a writer, but engaging with them on a living level. The critically acclaimed play did not fail to show the diversity in Kenya's history portrayed by Aliyah, who played a mixed heritage character called Shiro. She's part Kikuyu and part Indian. Um, and she tells the story of Zarina Patel. Zarina Patel, who was the granddaughter of Jivanji who gifted Jivanji Gardens to the residents of Nairobi, which was then under threat in the 90s by um, the president at the time, his clique wanted to build a parking lot. And she single-handedly fought for the rescuing of Jivanji Gardens. And what was very powerful for me as um, a woman of Indian heritage, a Kenyan woman of Indian heritage, was seeing someone like me as part of the fabric of Kenya's history. The brazen performances of brazen women in our history sparked conversations on social media about how women are remembered. Brazen needs to be made of brass, and that is essentially the quality that the women, they were speaking about from history 
they were women of strength and power, which is like they were made of brass. Though the curtains have fallen on this edition of Too Early for Birds, the cast hopes the unapologetic existence, space-taking, opportunity-seizing, ceiling-shattering and mind-blowing women portrayed will inspire future generations to be just as brazen.